Hi, thanks for tuning in to my Confessions of a Reform Control Freak podcast. My name is Brian Smith, and if I've learned anything at all in my 40-plus year career as a general manager for a major retailer, a college professor, and an award-winning entrepreneur, it's this. You aren't born knowing how to manage and lead others. Managing and leading others is a learned behavior. I believe you can learn how to communicate and interact more effectively, build collaborative teams, resolve conflict, and motivate others to perform at their personal best. My podcasts are ideal for first-time supervisors, managers, business leaders, or those looking to be promoted into a leadership role in their organization. Seasoned veterans will also benefit from tuning in. I'll give you my take on the ins and outs of today's business world, and I'll share some tips and techniques to help you develop those kinds of skills needed to manage and lead others the 21st century way. There is no question that if I knew then what I know now, I would have led others differently. After listening to my Confessions of a Reform Control Freak podcast, I hope you will manage and lead others differently as well. Are you an asset or a liability? Are you a good team player who contributes to the team's success or a social loafer who likes to blend into the background where your lack of effort isn't easily spotted? Teams and teamwork make for a great soundbite. But in your world, the real world, do they produce the kinds of results your company wants? Or do they create more problems than they're worth? For the most part, they can't expect to throw people together, call them team, and have them perform as a team without letting you know what they expect from a good team player. Individual commitment to a group effort. That is what makes a team work, a company work, a society work, a civilization work. Vince Lombardi. What would you put on that list if you had to put together a list of what you thought makes a good team player? Would you put honesty? I would expect a good team player to be honest and upfront and tell the truth no matter what. If people can't trust what you say, they can't trust you. Integrity. I would expect a good team player to have strong moral principles and live by them. Open-minded. I would expect a good team player to be open-minded, willing to consider new ideas and not stuck in the old way of doing things just because we've always done it that way. Flexible. I would expect a good team player to positively respond to circumstances and changing conditions. Patience. I would expect a good team player to accept delays or problems without becoming annoyed or anxious. Empathetic. I would expect a good team player to understand and share the feelings of other team players. We are not a team because we work together. We are a team because we respect, trust, and care for each other. Action speaks louder than words. What are you prepared to show everyone on your team that you're a good team player? Are you an asset or a liability? You've been listening to my Confessions of a Reform Control Freak podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this episode. If you're looking for answers to questions about the challenges you're facing managing and leading others, you can contact me directly at brian at briansmithpld.com. To print out a hard copy of this or any of my podcast episodes, visit my website at briansmithpld.com. Are you or someone you know looking for a keynote speaker, corporate trainer, or executive coach? Please give me a call. I work with people who want to learn how to communicate and interact more effectively, build collaborative teams, resolve conflict, or motivate others to perform at their personal best.
All three of my published books are available for purchase on Amazon, both in print and e-reader formats. Want to stay connected? Follow me on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for tuning in to my Confessions of a Reform Control Freak podcast. And most importantly, have yourself one heck of a great day.